It's 1923 and a goods shortage means that prices are rising like crazy. 1923, hyperinflation. When prices rise, this is known as inflation. This means that people need more money to be able to buy the things they need. However, in Germany, government decisions are only making the inflation they are experiencing worse. The problem the government are facing is that between 1919 and 1923, their revenue is only a quarter of what they need. They need money to be able to pay their debts, but unemployment and failing factories mean that they're getting less tax money. Therefore, the government resort to printing more money. In 1923, the government has 300 paper mills and 2,000 printing shops dedicated to printing more banknotes. Initially, this makes it easier to pay reparations. However, overall, this only makes the inflation worse. It creates a spiral where the more prices rise, the more money gets printed. And the more money gets printed, the more prices rise. By 1923, prices are huge. A loaf of bread, which would have cost one mark in 1919, costs 100 marks in 1922, and by 1923 costs 200 billion marks. This extreme form of inflation is known as hyperinflation. Normal living in Germany becomes impossible. People had to carry bundles of money in baskets and even wheelbarrows. Many workers are getting paid twice a day so they can rush out to the shops to buy goods before prices rise again. Some shops are even refusing to take money at all, and are going for a system of swapping things. Imports dry up because German marks become worthless against other currencies, and so foreign suppliers start refusing to accept German marks. People who have savings, such as in bank accounts or pensions, watch them become worthless. This means the middle classes are the hardest hit, as they are the most likely to have savings stored in such a way. There are, however, some people who benefit. People with loans find that the value of the money they owe back has gone down massively. Other people hoard goods and then sell them for a big profit as prices go up. Foreign visitors also benefit as the value of their own currency goes up against the German mark. So they can buy much more with their money. Unsurprisingly, the Germans heavily resent those who profit from their suffering. After August 1923, the new Chancellor, Gustav Stresemann, is able to find a solution to hyperinflation which you can find out about how he did this in the video about him, which I shall link in the corner, called Stresemann's Strategy. However, by this point, the damage to the Republic has been done, and in combination with other recent events, they have been shown to be weak. The German people have all suffered, and most people blame the Weimar Republic for their suffering, even the middle classes who would normally be the bedrock of the Republic. The moderates are losing strength. 1923, hyperinflation. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. I'm going to have to make a, a short apology for the fact I, I made a bit of a disappearing act. Um, haven't uploaded in far too many months. Um, turns out I'm not capable of keeping on top of both university and YouTube. In fact, I can't even just keep on top of university, apparently that's not possible either. Um, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> Anyway, if you want proof that I'm not dead during turn time, then you can find me on Twitter at a long time ago underscore yt. Um, yeah, I think that thinks that I think that's everything. Um, Later, gators.